I'm bored tonight, so I'm going to be uploading a fourth episode, if I can. Probably just recording this fourth episode. Benley was obsessed. Every night, he tore over the blueprints to Dr. Nim's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. <coughs> hey, welcome After to the RC After searching too. techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron. A big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. That'll heal every wins every time. Legit, obviously. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. What tape? Do you see that tape? The tape is so obvious on both of their pictures. Like, I'm serious that with today, with their technology in that day and age, they don't have at least some kind of bootleg Photoshop. At, at the very least. But heck, they're thieves. They're probably, they'd be, afford, be able to afford the freaking level 80 Photoshop. Carmelita's it's here, right off the starting bat. And again, Sly is jumping higher than he can when I'm controlling him. And also, we unlocked the paraglider in the last world. Uh, when at the same time we unlocked the last three missions, I believe. So, first thing I will be doing is checking out the thief net. Thief fish. Cheese all over the place. So, are we starting a mission right off the bat? I think we are. We are. Ooh. Ooh. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret, and no one knows who to mess with. <coughs> Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, 
but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfight. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. All right, let's start looking at the flashiest place possible. How about right there? Right next to us, in fact. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. <coughs> Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. Maybe I should... Use a logical argument. You both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes. Eyes and ears. Ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered. And the jig is big. This guy is paranoid. Looks like I'll need to calm him down a little. I don't know which one is the right and the wrong one. So, sorry. Maybe I should... Compliment him. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor. <sighs> which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, big time. I would rather feed your plant. I'll give it a pizza, pizza for lunch, breakfast. I'm, I'm, I'm getting too far into this feeding a plant. <clears throat> This guy's a real nut job. I'm not sure I want to owe him. I could uh, offer him a bribe. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Right, money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not federal reserve. Real credits. Please don't sue. Refuse. No, I'm green. Okay, Dimitri. Book me up with a flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes big cheese. Also, get in front of the desk. What are you doing? Move! I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good nature late night hiding. <laughs> like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No, said no. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scar 
scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles. <laughs> Ever. The couple over there doesn't notice this. Yeah, I would consider that a mission. I'm going... Careful, partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty. And it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. I'm going to call that there and make this a two-parter, which has never been done on the first section of a slide game on my Let's Play. See you in the five seconds. One. Two.